And I'm gonna show you today how to create your own photography logo and this is just gonna help you if you just want to create you know a logo for a business or anything like that you want to start off with a background here on the layers channel option um, so I already have a white background and if you don't know how to create a white background just go to file and click new and um, just click OK and here is a new uh, white background but you don't have a white background on here so you're gonna have to actually go to file export this and just save it as a JPEG and export it and I'm not gonna export this one because I already have exported one um, so I'm just gonna cancel this and go back here and this is the one I exported so now you're gonna have to create a new pixel layer and let's get started so since I'm doing a photography logo um, I'm going to just start using the fonts that Affinity Photo has to offer so I really like this font so that's the one I'm gonna use today and I'm just gonna type my name out and for photography I wanted to have a different font I'm just gonna align this make it center okay and now I'm gonna go down here to my uh, you know shapes tool and I'm gonna use a heart And I'm actually going to color this, uh, just a random color, the color, the color of it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go back to my text. I'm going to select it and I want this to take up my whole space right here because I want this to be big. So, just like that. So now I'm going to bring in an image onto my logo right here. So I have this gold image. I'm just going to command C to copy it and command V to paste it on here. So I want this image to actually go inside of my heart. And here's where it kind of gets tricky. You have to grab your image and make sure it covers the whole shape that you want it to cover so you're gonna have to be here on your background you have to be on your background layer on the image that you just put in so um, click on it make sure you click on mask layer and now you're gonna grab your heart and you're actually going to grab it and drag it in here so now you see my heart is now a beautiful golden color so that's great and uh, okay so now so I want to add a camera into my heart so I have this camera right here I'm just gonna command C to copy it command V to paste it and I want it to go right here and this layer actually needs to be on top of the heart in order for it to show up So that looks great. Now that we're done with our design, what we want to do is deselect the background layer. We want to just get rid of that. Now we have nothing as our background. Now it's just all these little pixels in the back, which is great, which means there is no background. We can finally export it, export this and save it to our computers and we'll be able to use it whenever we would like. So let's go ahead and export this and you have to export this as a PNG or else it's just not going to work properly. So just go ahead and export and um, call it whatever you want to call it. And I already exported this by the way, so I'm just like um, not going to do it again. So well, since we have this saved and exported into our computer go ahead and open an image so that we can use it to have our logo put on so let's go 
go ahead and do, I'm just going to do this one. Okay, and now you're going to want to go up to file and open your logo, the one that you just exported. And I actually, I think I have mine open already. So here's my logo that I exported as a PNG. Um, so now it's right here. So I'm just going to command C to copy it and command V to paste it. I don't know why I always say that, but I just got used to it. So here is our beautiful logo with no background. And it looks awesome. So we're just going to add it to our image. And it's always hard to choose a spot on where to put these so I'm just gonna zoom in so that you guys can see what it looks like so that is that thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that it was helpful for y'all so I'll see y'all next time thank you